Okay, everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, Mr. Petula is here again today. Um, we're not going to be doing anything on quaver music. We're just going to be looking at our soprano recorder. And what we're going to do is we're going to cover two notes, um, the high C and then the low C. So if you're in third grade and you've already got your B, A, and G, today we're going to learn your high C. Um, that's also going to be used for the fourth graders that are learning Miss Mary Mack. You have to know that. And then for the fourth graders that have gotten that pentatonic scale, where you're going B, A, G, and then you're adding the E and the D. Today, we're gonna finally use that pinky and we're gonna cover up that last hole in the front of the recorder and get our low C. So um, let's start with the high one. And remember, it's always important to have good posture, make sure you're sitting up straight. You're gonna use that warm air that we talked about. So I'm gonna start with just the G. I'm gonna go up to an A, then a B. And then you might think, oh, a C, you just lift that last finger, right? No, what you do to get from your B to your C is you have to switch your first and second finger. So this is your B, when you got your thumb and your first finger covering, and then to get to your C, you lift that first finger. And I know I've said over and over and over again, keep that first finger down, but this is finally the chance you're gonna get to lift that first finger and that's your high C with the thumb covering the back hole and the second finger covering the second hole. All right, so when you put it together, you'll get a G, a, B, C, and that's the, not the highest note, but it's getting up there, okay? So, there is your high C. Now, to get a low C, we've got our G, and then we're gonna use two fingers to cover for our E, then one more for our D, and then that pinky is what gets us the lowest note C. Now this is a little tricky. When you first play it, you might not get it to sound right. And I'll give you some tricks on how to get it, but the low C sounds like this. So when you're going down, you got. We're skipping the note F for now and that's okay, but all you wanna do is make sure, first of all, that there are two holes. If you look very carefully, you can see there are two holes. Make sure the pinky is covering both of those. So it's really important that you're using the pads, the fingerprints, not your fingertips. Because if, finger, if you use your fingertip, you might just cover one of the holes and that's gonna get you uh, kind of a, a weird sound. It'll sound more like this. So if you're trying to get that low C and you're hearing this sound, It's not you, it's your finger. All right, so make sure you get that finger pad from your pinky over both of those holes. And then you could practice that last C at the end of your pentatonic scale. So you can go B, A, G, E, D, C for the last note. It sounds like this. And then you can go the other way. And if you want to add the high C, those are two new notes, two new notes you could learn on the recorder. So practice those. That's for both third and fourth grade. If you want to try something new while we have this time, um, I guess that's it for now. I hope everyone's doing great and uh, you're having fun on this beautiful day. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys real soon. All right. Bye-bye. Almost forgot, I am taking requests. So if you have a favorite screen or a song or a video that you really liked in class and you'd like to see that again, but you can't find it in your student folders or your student resources or anywhere, just email me, let me know what it is or describe it the best you can. And if I can figure that out, what I'll do is I'll put it on your student assignments. I can put that in any folder for any grade. So if you've got a favorite song or whatever it is you want to see, just let me know and I'll take care of that for you. Okay, great, bye-bye.